Hi, I'm Jules from Nine Stone Lighter. And I'm Matt Keatley, Jules' personal trainer. So today we're going to have a look at some meals and snacks in a typical daily diet. Typical breakfast, muesli, yoghurt, blueberries, orange juice. Now you'd think that you would be winning at life and you're super healthy having this for breakfast, but no. I can tell you now, Jules, there's 15 teaspoons of sugar in that. Mid-morning snack, this is just a bog standard cereal bar. There's another two and a half teaspoons in there. So we haven't even got to lunch yet and we're already at 17 and a half teaspoons of sugar. I'd say this is a pretty familiar lunch, okay? Soup and a sandwich. Mm -hmm. Offices across the world are having this for lunch, mm -hmm. okay? Another six and a half teaspoons. It's all clocking up, okay. What's next? In the middle of the afternoon, what are you, what are you, what are you screaming for? What do you want? Chocolate tea. And? Well, Chocolate like bar, chocolate yeah. bar. Just give another, me some sugar. Another five teaspoons of sugar. So the total now at this point, before we've even gotten to dinner, is 29 teaspoons of sugar. Yeah. And this actually looks quite healthy, doesn't it? Brown rice, broccoli, sweet and sour chicken. But there is, in fact, five teaspoons of sugar in that sauce. Okay, so with all of this sugar consumption throughout the whole day, your insulin levels and your sugars would just be up and down like a yo-yo. And I can imagine by the time it gets to the evening, you're absolutely knackered and wrecked going, give me that glass of wine and a bowl of ice cream because I need it. Yeah, well then, another five teaspoons of sugar. Okay, and that would bring the total throughout the day to a staggering 39 teaspoons of sugar. And that's what it looks like. And the World Health Organization says you shouldn't have any more than six. I mean, look at the comparison. What we see here is somebody apparently making a relative effort to be healthy, but this is actually just a whole day riddled with sugar. And as we all know, sugar is the killer when it comes to putting on the weight. But don't despair because we're gonna show you some healthy alternatives that we prepared earlier on. I love this breakfast, Jules. Smoked salmon, scrambled eggs, avocado. You've got good protein, you've got good fats, and you've got vitamins, okay? If you don't have that, then go for some porridge. Good, slow-release energy, all right? So both of these, breakfast of champions. Yeah, perfect, Keep you perfect. going for ages in the day. Mid-morning snack, piece of fruit, banana, whatever, orange, whatever you want. For lunch, what I go for is some form of protein with salad or vegetables. So what we've got here is chicken, salad, quinoa, and couscous. Because everybody asks me now, what do I eat since, you know, to be healthy and slim? And this is the answer. Protein and salad. This is what I live on and it's the way forward. And that's a good size. That should fill anybody up, you know. In the middle of the afternoon, I go for another piece of fruit. So we've just gone for an apple here. And then on to dinner, what I see here is good fats, fiber, and carbs, okay? So you've got your good fats in your fish, you've got protein in the fish, you've got carbs in your sweet potato, and then what you've got is your fiber in your broccoli and asparagus. So you've got a perfectly balanced, healthy dinner. It's a perfect dinner. And then what about watching telly in the evening and just wanting to have a few little nibbles? Well, I think a bowl of nuts, mixed nuts, perfect. Yeah, and portion-wise and size, in comparison to what we looked at before, it's relatively the same amount exactly of food. the same size, I'd say, yeah. And filling the same amount of hours throughout the day, eating, but this is this lower sugar options and much healthier if you want to live longer and feel better and lose weight and just be a healthy person. Yeah. This is the answer. Check out my Nine Stone Lighter Facebook page for more videos of myself and Matt talking about sugar content in food, healthy recipes and lots more.